YouTube, it's Weird Paul. It's mail day again, and today's package comes from subscriber The Nostalgia Ward. So let's take a look at what I got. The first thing I got is a couple of 1985 The Choice is Yours books from Troll. These are like choose your own adventure, but I never had any of these before. In the Forbidden Tower, she take on the role of Liffin the Elf, and there's some stuff in here that you can never unsee. Mamma mia. And in the secret of the old museum, you're a school kid who meets aliens. I like turtles. The other stuff that I got, CDs, DVDs, etc., are all by the residents. For anyone unfamiliar with the residents, they are a group that's been releasing music for almost 50 years. And they still have never given anyone their real names or shown the faces of anyone in the group. They're also one of my all-time favorite bands. I got five of the Residents' Preserved Album CD sets. First up is their second album from 1976, The Third Reich and Roll, which is a sort of cover album, strange recordings and reinterpretations of songs from the 60s. It includes a second CD of mostly unreleased stuff, including outtakes. Next, I got Fingerprints, their third album from 1977. This one is a lot more piano-based, and it's also the first album to include playing by one of my guitar heroes, Philip Snakefinger Lithman. It, too, includes the second disc of mostly unreleased material. And here we have my favorite Residence album, 1978's Duck Stab, Buster and Glenn. This is one I'd recommend to anyone who's never heard the Residence before. It even includes some outtakes from the sessions, which I really enjoyed hearing. This is probably my favorite thing in the package, the six-disc mole box. This includes 1981's Mark of the Mole, 1982's The Tunes of Two Cities, 1983's Intermission, 1985's The Big Bubble, plus two more CDs of live mole show material. This box contains at least five hours of music. Damn! And I got 1988's God in Three Persons. This was the first Residence album that I actually bought right when it came out. It was a two-record set. This is a three CD set, which includes the soundtrack version of the album without the vocals. And I also got this 2018 CD called I Am A Resident. The residents invited their fans to record cover versions of their songs, and then they worked that all into the Ultimate Residence mashup album. And I got a couple of Residence DVDs. Theory of Obscurity is a documentary film about the residents from 2016. I saw it at the theater when it came out. It was a good movie, but no one in the movie claimed to be one of the residents. And I got the Residents Commercial DVD, which has 40 music videos, all made for this 2004 project, for all 40 songs from their 1980 album, The Commercial Album. This DVD is special to me, to keep the story short. For Valentine's Day in 2005, my girlfriend at the time got me this DVD, and I enjoyed watching it. One of the videos on it for the song Margaret Freeman was directed and made by someone named Nifford Desmond. It was only about a year later that I found Nifford Desmond on MySpace when I saw her profile listed Weird Paul under favorite musicians. And less than a year after that, in January 2007, I met her and we started going out and we've been together ever since. I put the link down below to watch Nifford's music video on YouTube. And to answer your next question, yes, Nifford did meet the residents. But, back to the package, because I got one other thing. The 1995 CD-ROM game The Residence, Bad Day on the Midway. You switch between different characters to solve puzzles and unravel a murder mystery. This game was actually optioned by Ron Howard for a TV series that would have been directed by David Lynch, but it never happened. <gasps> for years, I've wanted to make a video about my entire Residence collection, but I never have. Hopefully I'll get to do it soon. Anyway, thanks to the Nostalgia Award for sending all this amazing resident stuff. It's going to fit in great in my collection. And you can watch the music video that I made for his song, Pineapple Pizza, on his YouTube channel. I put the link down below in the description. I'll see you soon with more memories. Thanks, YouTube.